Hey guys, welcome back to another video and if you're new here, my name is Edward Smith and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's video we're going to be looking at the best studio condenser microphones that you can get for under $300 in 2021. So before we jump into this video, I'd first like to remind you that all of these microphones are condenser microphones and therefore you are going to need 48 volts of phantom power. To get 48 volts of phantom power, you are going to need an audio interface and if you don't have one, I will leave some links down below. Secondly, the links of all of these microphones will be down in the description below as well. And then last but not least, make sure you stick around all the way till the end of this video because as always, I will be doing a comparison in terms of sound quality where I'm talking through each microphone and singing through through each one just so that you can get a taste of each microphone sound and hopefully pick the perfect one for your studio setup but without any further ado let's get into this video and see what these microphones are all about the first microphone that we can have a look at is the Rode NT1A which is probably the most popular microphone for sale under 300 bucks costing around $220 for the Rode NT1A bundle this mic comes in a beautiful silver finish that just looks beautiful and professional at the same time. In terms of build quality, the NT1A is solid and has the durability to last an awfully long time. Looking at frequency response, the range is set between 20Hz and 20kHz with a slight bump up on the high end. This condenser microphone is unidirectional, designed with a cardioid polar pickup pattern. The next microphone that we can have a look at is the Blue Bluebird SL, which is one of the most unique condenser microphones one can purchase. Costing around $300, this microphone comes in a beautiful grey and blue colour with a capsule like no other. In terms of build quality, the Bluebird SL feels solid and durable and should last you a good amount of time. Looking at frequency response, the range is set between 20Hz and 20kHz with a slight bump up on the low end and a big bump up on the highs. This condenser microphone is unidirectional, designed with a cardioid polar pickup pattern and comes with a shock mount and wooden case for safer on the go travel. This microphone also has an additional roll off and attenuation switch. The next microphone that we can have a look at is the Aston Origin, which is one microphone that has really become quite popular in home studios over the last few years. Costing around $300, this microphone comes in a rustic silver grey finish with an incredibly unique looking grille capsule. In terms of build quality, the Origin comes in a solid metal body feeling super durable and long lasting. Looking at frequency response, the range is set between 20Hz and 20kHz with a slight cutoff on the low end and a light bump up on the highs. This condenser microphone is unidirectional, designed with a cardioid polar pickup pattern with an additional roll off and attenuation switch. The next microphone that we can have a look at is the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure, which is one of my favorite microphones in terms of look and sound. Costing around $270, this microphone comes in a boxy black shaped color that really looks sleek and to the point. In terms of additional accessories, the 440 Pure comes with a shock mount, magnetic pop filter and windsock for dialogue recording. When it comes to build quality, the LCT 440 comes in a metal box body that feels tough and durable. Looking at frequency response, the range is set between 20Hz and 20kHz with a slight bump up on the high end. This condenser microphone is unidirectional, designed with a cardioid polar pickup pattern. The last microphone that we can have a look at is the SE Electronics SE2200, which is one microphone that always gets the job done. Costing around $300, this microphone comes in a standard condenser body that looks sleek and professional at the same time. In terms of build quality, the AC2200 comes in a metal casing that feels solid but the grills do feel a little too flexy. In terms of additional accessories, the mic comes with a shock mount and pop filter perfect for easy setup right out of the box. Looking at frequency response, the range is set between 20Hz and 20kHz with a slight bump up on the mid to high end frequencies. 
This condenser microphone is unidirectional, designed with a cardioid polar pickup pattern. So now that we've gone through each microphone in terms of build quality, overall features, look and design, it's time to move on to the most important part when picking a microphone for your studio setup, and that is the sound test. I'm now talking through the SE Electronics 2200. I don't have anything on this vocal chain. It's all straight out of the box plugged in and this is what it sounds like. I'm now talking through the Blue Bluebird SL condenser microphone. I have it set up with nothing on the vocal chain. This is what it sounds like straight out of the box. I'm now talking through the Rode NT1A condenser microphone. I have nothing on this vocal chain. This is what it sounds like straight out of the box. I'm now talking through the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure condenser microphone. I have it right out of the box. No EQ or anything on this vocal chain. This is what it sounds like. I'm now talking through the Aston Origin condenser microphone. I don't have anything on this vocal chain. This is exactly what it sounds like straight out of the box. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, New York. Oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make it New York I don't drink coffee, I drink tea, my dear I like my toast done on one side And you can hear it in my accent when I talk I'm an Englishman in New York You see me walking down Fifth Avenue Walking cane here by my side I take it everywhere I walk I'm an Englishman in New York Oh, I'm an alien I'm a legal alien I'm an Englishman in New York Oh, I'm an alien I'm a legal alien I'm an Englishman in New York now, for my final overview of these condenser microphones under $300, I have to say that I'm super impressed with what you can get for the price. And not just because of one and two microphones, but with actually all of them. They all sound really, really good. And I think this is the first time where I do a review and I don't really have a clear favorite. Each of these microphones sound really, really good. They all look really unique. They all have a great build quality. I'm just overall super impressed with what you're getting. And I have to be honest, whichever mic is your favorite in terms of look design build quality features whatever you're not going to be picking a bad microphone because all of these microphones just really sound amazing so that brings this video to an end of the best studio condenser microphones that you can get for under 300 dollars in 2021 and just a reminder that if you are interested in any of these condenser microphones i have left links down in the description below if you have any questions about any of the microphones or anything in general just leave a comment down below and i'll try and get back to you as soon as i can but other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you loved it, subscribe down below. And I will see you for another video next time.